okay today's session we'll discuss about how to access excel file through validb source in the previous sessions we are accessing database table through validb source and validb destination the source table you are accessing through validb source and we are writing with the help of validb destination in today's session we will try to take the excel file and how to read the data from excel file with the help of validb source that particular part we will try to discuss so i'm creating a new package new ssis package it is provided as a package1.dtsx i'll rename this excel data from validb source for example in my system environment i'm having one excel file like employee01.xlsx and this file is consisting some data in this format three records are there in the sheet 1 with the column header like employee number employee name salary commission department number this is my header and there are three rows are there so with help of validb source we'll try to read these three records and we'll try to put into our destination table so for that we are trying to design the package so already we have created a package within this i am placing the data flow task double click on this data flow task to define the etl flow now we are within the data flow i am trying to place something called as an validb source usually this validb source is used to access the database tables but along with that we can access even excel file also so we'll try to take validb source double click on this validb source click on new because we need to have a connection Yesterday we have created some connection called as a source that is showing here, but this source is related to database table. But I need connection for my Excel sheet, so click on new button. Specify the server name and file names. But right now here, if observe the driver, this is belonging to SQL Server native client, but we want to work with an excel sheet so change the driver click on this drop down list box select the driver called as microsoft office 12.0 access database engine validb provider choose this particular driver for accessing excel file click on okay then provide the server or file name the location of the file where it is located my file is located in the location called as a d colon data so i'm taking this file name or uh, location path put it here along with that give the file name my file name is employee 01.xlsx this is the file name employee 01.xlsx file that file name i specified it after that we need to tell the version of excel sheet what is an excel file you are using what is the version of that particular excel file as well as whether that file sheet is consisting any header or not we have to mention so if you take your excel sheet so how do you know what is the version of excel sheet maybe if you go to your 
start button under this <coughs> excel options under excel options if you go for resources there is something called as an about see here if observe it is showing me clearly microsoft office 2007 12.0 this is my version number so i need to provide this version number that is the first thing second thing whether this sheet is consisting data or not a header so my excel sheet is consisting header so i need to say header is equal to yes if header is not there then you say no you need to tell these two points so come back to your data tools how do you specify this thing means in this connection manager window if you observe there is a option called as an all click on all option scroll this scroll bar to the top there is a property called as an extended properties for this you provide a value called as excel 12.0 this is the version number semicolon hdr means header my file is consisting header column names are there so i'll say yes semicolon test the connection it is saying test connection succeeded okay okay and choose this connection just now what we have created click on okay button then choose the data access mode as a tabular view and name of the table is sheet names what are the sheets are present you specify those particular sheets so i'm choosing the first sheet what am i am as sheet one dot one dollar what are the columns are there within this particular excel file means if you want to view the data click on preview just if you want to view the column names then go to the columns so this excel file is consisting the columns like employee number name salary commission depart number so do you want to take all these columns or not if you want to take all these columns place the check marks for them if you don't want to choose certain fields you want to deselect them yes definitely it is possible you can unselect the columns but for time being in this example we are trying to take all the fields employee number name salary commission depart number now use previous sessions we have discussed that oldb source when you are accessing data from table the data types what you rank data type in the table for that respect to column it gives as it is but character field if you take it up by default that is coming as a non unicode but in this case when your input is excel file to your oldb source your employee name that means character field data type is unicode dt underscore wstr so whenever you place the cursor on that particular field it is showing me that column name is e name along with that it is saying data type is unicode string dt underscore wstr so click on ok but due to some reasons you got some problem it is saying that a connection may has not been assigned to oldb connection columns see once again i'll add this object just check it up i'm repeating the same step drag oldb source into your data flow double click on your oldb source go to the new if you are having a connection for excel sheet you select it else you create it that means new once again i'm specifying change the driver as access database engine oldb uh, will be provider then specify the location call as d colon slash data slash employee 01 dot xlsx this is my excel file then click on all go to the first property and specify it is excel 12.0 version semicolon 
header is equal to yes keep the semicolon test connection connection is succeeded ok choose this connection object just now what we have created click on ok then choose the sheet name then select the columns if required edit the columns here like unrequired columns you uncheck them and click on ok button so this is my OLDB source already I mentioned that whenever you are reading excel data character values will be taken as unicode now if you want to write into our destination it is not possible directly that means if you use OLDB destination, OLDB destination looks for non-unicode character data but this is giving unicode so straight away it is not possible. For that reason I will use one transformation object. I will use one transformation object called as a data conversion. I am using one transformation object called as in data conversion. What is use of it? It is a transformation object used to change the data types. So as per your requirement we can change the data type. Maybe from double to float or in numeric to integer or unicode to non-unicode or non-unicode to unicode form you can change it so i'll try to use this data conversion but before using this if you link it up directly to your oldb destination what happened we'll observe later we'll implement this data conversion so i'm going with other destination oldb destination i'm choosing Take this OLDB source, connect it to OLDB destination, double click on OLDB destination, new, I am clicking on the new button because I need a destination connection for that reason. My server name is Ramesh PC and with Windows authentication and I am choosing destination, connection is succeeded ok and I am choosing this destination connection ok and the table is I am choosing tgt underscore emp go to the mappings these are the columns you are having employee number name salary commission depart number now employee number here on the left side it is showing me dt underscore r8 double precision on this right side it is showing me as a numeric both are new data types are numerics only but there is a small change one is on the left side it is a double precision whereas on the right side it is just set as a numeric numeric can have maybe double or maybe an integers also when you come to the e name it is showing me dt underscore str on this left side which is came as an input to destination but what is the destination e name that is dt underscore str length is about 15 so this data type is different unicode in one area a non unicode in another area so this is not allowed if you click on ok it showing me red colored cross symbol for the destination if you place the cursor there it is clearly showing a message column e name cannot convert between unicode and non unicode string data types so we are unable to associate that is the reason I will remove this link and I will add a transmission object between these two. So I am going with common data conversion there is one transmission object called as a data conversion drag it place between your OLDB source and OLDB destination link your OLDB source to data conversion. Now data conversion will allow you to change the data type. 
so I'll go with the data canvas double click and I'm choosing ename it is creating a copy of ename and new column but instead of copy of e name, like I'll change this as DC underscore means I'm saying that I'm converting this e name data conversion to which type I'm changing it as a DT underscore STR and the length for example I'm making as in 10 10 or maybe 15 depending on the requirement so click on OK now take this data conversion link it to your validb destination now double click on validb destination so already we gave the target connectivity only thing you have to change the mappings go to the mappings still here ename is linked but this ename data type is different on left side you're having as an unicode on the right side you're having non-unicode which is not possible so don't link this you remove this link and connect from dc underscore e name just we can link remove this link and you can drag this field and you can link it up that is one way or come to this table form click on this e names content and choose as a dc underscore e name click on ok now valid file menu save all now we'll go to your database once Just I'm trying to remove the data from the table if it consists anything. I'll make this as a comment and then I'll say select star from TGT underscore EMP. Execute it. Now my table is empty here and if I observe the Excel sheet. How many records are there means it is showing me three records. 101 employee number, 102 employee number, 103 employee number. So these three records should come into your database table. We'll observe that. So execute this package. File menu save all. Start. Execution is done. Validity source has provided three rows that went for data conversion. From data conversion, three rows went for destination. So if you observe the output here, we got the three rows. So this is the way to read the Excel sheet data and to pass it to the next object. But while reading and passing to the next object, you should take one measure. What is that or one thing you have to check it up? what type of destination or what type of next object you are having if it demands unicode straight away give the world uh, excel series uh, shores related uh, output to your validb destination but if you are looking for non-unicode it is a mandatory you have to place on some data conversion and through that convert it and pass it so you have to take one extra specification like this conversions this is about reading the data from excel file through validb source and giving it to the next object so the next object may be anything i showed it to the database table but need not be you may use it for certain business logics but this is the way to read the data from excel sheet Thank you.